Premiere Pro is about to get crazy. Adobe's upcoming generative AI features in Premiere Pro, powered by Adobe Firefly, are about to change the game. And not only do I need to tell you about them, but I also need to tell you about some practical use cases so that you're ahead of the competition as soon as Adobe drops all of this. First up, we have the Object Addition and Replacement feature. This tool will let you add or change objects and footage using simple text prompts. Imagine needing to add a prop to your scene. Just make a selection, write a prompt, and then Firefly does the rest. For example, right here, just like in Generative Fill in Photoshop, you're given three different options in regard to the amount of diamonds that you want to automatically generate into a suitcase. Except in this case, we're not dealing with photos, we're dealing with video. Now think about how convenient this first feature that we're talking about would be for integrating product placements into your footage without reshoots. That means you could treat your video before you even lock down any specific product sponsors. This means that you could get started on your project and later pop in the product once you've secured the sponsorship deals. We've got so many other features to cover, it's incredible, but just stop for a moment. I call Envato Elements the Netflix for video editors because what it is is a subscription service that gives you for one single fee every month, literally access to unlimited downloads. I literally download things from Envato Elements every single day when I'm editing these tutorials. From transition packs to title packs to effects packs to stock footage to royalty-free music to sound effects. There's literally everything. Every subscription helps the channel and through the channel, you can get your first month for only $9. It's amazing, check it out. Let's get back to this tutorial. AI feature number two, let's talk about object removal. Imagine having like a really distracting utility box in the background of your otherwise perfect shot. Instead of reshooting, you can simply use Firefly to remove it seamlessly. This is a lifesaver again for those times when reshooting is it possible or would be too costly. It simplifies the editing process by eliminating the need for manual rotoscoping, saving you both time and resources. Imagine removing a brand logo from a shot or getting rid of crew members who accidentally stepped into the frame. This tool would handle that effortlessly. Another fantastic feature is called Generative Extent. This would allow you to intelligently add frames to your footage, basically extending the actual length of your clips to ensure that you have the exact media that you need. This would be perfect for those moments when you just need a few extra frames to make a scene flow. For instance, if someone in your shot breaks character by laughing or smiling, instead of redoing the entire take, you can just cut back to the point before the grimace or the smile happened and then extend it seamlessly. Here's another feature. Adobe is also introducing content credentials. This feature ensures transparency by showing whether AI was used in the creation of media so that you can always know the origin of your content. This is crucial for maintaining trust and authenticity in your work, especially in a world where AI-generated content is gonna become more and more common. And there's more, guys. AI is actually collaborating with OpenAI, Pika, and Runway, and other partners to give editors the choice of using third-party AI models that work best with their footage. For example, OpenAI's Sora model will be able to generate B-roll for literally any scene through simple text prompts, creating variations for you to choose from. Similarly, Runway's video model will generate a new clip and add it to the timeline in a snap. This is just the beginning. Stay in the loop.